Hi viewers, uh, this video is made in response to one of my subscribers comment. His name is Jeremy Claro. So Mr. Jeremy, please excuse if I have mispronounced your name. So he just commented on a video what is MT710. Let me just try to clear your doubt in a short and precise manner. I would say it's a swift LC just like MT700. So most of us might know what MT700 is. Any swift message starting with uh, number 7 are related to documentary credit or in other words we call it as a uh, letter of credit. So in MT710 almost everything remains same as in MT700. But that's a catch. In case of MT700, it may come directly to the beneficiary bank from the issuing bank. But that is not the case in MT710. So in this case, the SWIFT message is first received by a bank uh, that will be called as an advising bank because what they will do is they will again retransmit that message to another bank from where you will receive or collect your LC. So if you search in Google what is MT710, then you will find that uh, it is used to advise the receiver about the terms and condition of a documentary credit. But that is, that is not the only matter. There is something else in that, that you need to examine thoroughly. So usually if uh, an applicant wishes to open a LC, the applicant must have to deposit the equivalent fund with the bank or they can use their existing credit limit from their bank for that purpose. But when he wishes to avoid the utilization of their credit facility from their bank, they may consider to do it in some other ways. So for that purpose, they will issue their own documentary credit or having this issued by a non-bank third party. So LC advising is done uh, mainly for two reasons. One is when the bank is in a doubt about the LC opening bank's credibility. And the other reason is when they do not have the authority. That means they might be following their SOP, uh, that is standard operating procedure. That means if some LC is being received by their bank, then they need to retransmit to their concerned branch. From there only they will deliver the LC to the beneficiary. So, in those cases, you need to be a bit more careful. Just invest some good amount of time checking the LC issuer's credibility. By doing so, you can be assured that you are in a safe side. Uh, so, this is all. I believe I have cleared your doubt. Uh, still, if you have any more doubt, just comment below. I will definitely respond to you. Now, kindly share this video if you have found my video helpful and informative. Uh, so I have done my part. Now it's your turn. So I request you to please press the like button and subscribe to my channel. That really motivates me to devote much more time making such videos. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video.